A question that we're often asked is, what about bedding? What do you sleep with? How do you stay warm? Well, in this video, we've got three different options that we're going to show you that'll work in an RV. If you have a king or a queen or a regular size bed, no problem. What we're suggesting will work in any of those beds. We're working with the Leisure Travel Van Wonder Rear Twin Bed. It's a six inch mattress. The twin bed's just a little bit uh, narrower than the traditional twin beds. And uh, in fact, I hear Mike coming right now. Let's see what he's got. The first thing we're gonna show you is the RV Super Bag, what we have been using for nine years now. So thank you, Mike, for bringing this in. And we'll show everybody how it works. All right, the RV Super Bag. We have been using these for years. We have two twin ones, and uh, they are so easy. You just flop it on top of your mattress. Spread the Super Bag out. It has a zipper on both sides. Unzip. Adjust the sheet, tuck it in at the top. The zipper goes all the way down, both sides. And there's Velcro that holds this in. So when you want to wash it, you take it out and then you put it back in. And you can take, it's two different, the top and the bottom. If you want to wash it, you can separate and you can machine wash this, but you're not supposed to put it in the dryer. This one, we have been using for nine years. Why can't you put it in the dryer? I think because of the zipper. It's hard on zippers. When you, and no matter how much you tell people to keep it cool, no heat, it is hard for people to follow the rules. What I like about this is there's extra material that you can flip over the top so that your face is next to the sheet and not the blanket. So. You can go a long time in between washing this and you can take the sheets out as often as you want. And with the super bag, one side, this is the thinner side, this is what you would put on the top for summer. This is thicker. So for the winter, you put the winter side up to keep you warm. In the summer, flip it over, put the summer side up and you have a lightweight blanket. It's got a little bit of a skirt on it to cover up the mattress. So it hangs down and covers that up. And it has uh, pillow shams that you put on your pillows so that uh, they look nice. And then you take them out of the sham when you sleep at night. And this, of course, is the second one. Yes, that's the second one. We'll make up that bed, too. All right. Here are the RV super bags and twin beds all made up with the pillow shams on, ready to go. These are time tested with us. I think we've had them about nine years and they've been laundered a lot. They've been to a lot of states, a lot of places, and we really love them. They are, they are very nice. They're expensive. I think it's what, about $500 for the uh, two of these, two twins. And we also have a king size for when we had a king size bed. And um, we love it. Winter side, summer side, take the sheets out, wash them, put them back in. RV super bags. Had them for years. Time tested with us. They have a skirt on them. You can get them with a skirt so it covers up your mattress. That looks nice. A nice finishing touch on there. And remember the sheets velcro in. So you take them out, put them back in. You don't have to wash everything. One little tip, if you buy these, make sure that you wash the sheets by themselves because the Velcro will stick on to your other clothes that are washed in there. And the same thing with drying. Make sure you dry the sheets all by themselves or you'll find out the hard way <laughs> the other clothes might get damaged. So um, a thumbs up on these. Bedding idea number two. Mike is carrying in traditional sheets with a blanket. Thank you, sir. You may remember one of our earlier winter camping videos, we forgot to bring our super bags. I had brought the sheets for the super bag, but I had forgotten 
the super bags themselves. So we had the sheets. So that got us thinking, what about getting traditional sheets? Because we slept just great. We had our sheets, and then we put what we had over top of us, like beach towels and whatever we could find. And we were perfectly warm. So we said, let's get some traditional sheets. So we got two sets of twin sheets and the mattress pad from a high-end company called Aurora. The reason we went with Aurora is because they specialize and the leisure travel van mattress sizes, be it a corner bed, island bed, the twin bed mattresses, the Murphy beds, all their different mattresses they cater to. So the mattress pad that we got is a little smaller than a traditional twin mattress pad. The sheets we've got are sheets for these beds. And we had two options for the top sheet. The bottom sheet is fitted all four corners. The top sheet you could have the bottom fitted and the top like a traditional sheet. And uh, I opted for the traditional sheet. Now, when you order the bottom fitted sheet, you can get a regular or you can get some extra fabric. I got the extra fabric. I don't think I really need that right now. I have a little foam pad that I put under the mattress pad. It's just about an inch and a half thick. But if you wanted like a three inch topper or something larger, that extra length to wrap around would be awesome. I've got the extra fabric in case someday I do want to put on a thick topper, but if you're going to use the regular mattress, you don't need to order that extra depth. Now we've got the top sheet. We'll put that on. And when you order the top sheet, there are two options. The traditional top sheet, or you can get it fitted, like at the bottom, and in retrospect, I think that probably would have been a good idea. Made it a little bit easier if you had it fitted at the bottom and just slip it in. I was so worried that I wouldn't have a long enough top sheet. I like to drape my sheet over top the blanket. I want the sheet next to my face, not the blanket. So here are the Aurora sheets. We just went to a box store and picked up a blanket to put on top. And we're more than happy with the sheets. We've slept on them. They're comfortable. And it's nice to have that traditional feel of real sheets. The only thing that makes it a little bit hard is uh, the twin bed reaching around and trying to tuck everything in and make it look nice. Now, the mattress pads were $200. You got two of them for $200. And the sheets were about $180. And uh, if you want to add on to have pockets at the end, I think that's about $15, so that'd be a little easier to make with the two pockets to slip the, on the end of the mattress. And if you want extra depth, that's a few extra dollars, 10 or $15. You can, they'll work with you for what you've got to work with. If you've got a big, thick mattress pad, they'll work with you. Now I hear Mike coming with bedding solution number three. Ah, thank you. This is something new to us, and we're going to try it out today. And the reason we know about it is because several of you on our live stream told us about it. So we thought, we got to check this out. It's called Betty's, and its motto is, Zip Your Bed. The Betty is something like the RV Super Bed. They make them for RVs, and they make them for beds at your home as well. Let's open this up. It looks a lot like a sleeping bag. There are a couple ways how this is different. First thing is that the sheets are sewn right into this. They don't come out. And the other way it's different is it's like a fitted sheet. It fits on your mattress. Now, just like a bottom fitted sheet, we're going to put this on there. Give it a little tug. And we've got it on. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Let's tuck this under. Set that under there. Great. And now. And what we have, we have a sheet that's made right in. Right in. And then this top sheet, they have two options. You can either have two cotton or you can have. Minky. Minky. This nice is, and fuzzy. Yeah, it's really soft. They call this minky. Yeah. And 
And when you're sleeping, you can unzip it all the way down, drop this fabric, and that way it's more like a traditional bed with sheets, and you're not going to rub up against that zipper. It looks kind of nice having that hang down, doesn't it? And it has the same thing on the other side. You would unzip and drop this down. Not much to putting that together. No, there's not much to putting that together at all. There isn't much to making your bed in the morning. Put this up and then tuck this under and zip it shut. You gotta tuck it under so it's not in the way. And then just pull the zipper and the bed is made. Zip your bed. Zip your bed. Even I could do that. I think you could. And they give you something else. They give you Ah, this. <laughs> if you can't sleep with that on, you're out of luck. This is the pillowcase that comes with it. So I'm going to stick the pillow in there. And I like this feature. It tucks in. You're not going to see the white pillowcase. You're only going to see the fabric. That's pretty cute. And now we've, it comes with a pillow sham. So, let's put the sham on. You can fit it in. Now, they have two different options for when you order these. Mike wanted the minky, the nice and soft and fuzzy top sheet. I went with the traditional top sheet. And I did what they said to do with this one. This one you saw us open it from the package. This one, I separated the top and the bottom, which they say to do. I washed each one separately with one cup of vinegar and mild detergent on cold water. And then I dried them on low heat. This is how they're going to look in the daytime when we travel. All made up and with the pillow shams on when we're on the road. There's a slight difference in color, and I don't know if that's because I washed the one and the other one you saw it come out of the package hasn't been washed yet. So that's a question that I have. So you both might have to get minkies or you both might have to get the cotton if you want the exact same color. And the cost for these, they're about $242 each, so just under $500. A plus is they're very simple to put on. They're not that hard at all. Very easy to do. This is how it'll look right before we crawl under those covers and go to bed. Okay, this is what it's like after we slept in it. Mike slept in a little bit today. Hey Mike, time to get up. Are you filming me? When I do that. <laughs> For Pete's sakes. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. That's pretty comfortable. Good. Are you nice and fuzzy warm? Yeah, I got this nice soft minky. I slept all night. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Let's get this day rolling. I guess I gotta get up and zip my bed, huh? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get up and <laughs> zip your bed. Okay. Okay. That was a lot of work, putting those beds <laughs> together. But that's three bedding solutions, and I know you're all wanting to know which one is the best. And the answer is... We like all three of them. <laughs> and I'm so glad that people ask us about the beddies, because I was kind of curious about them, because people kept asking. And now we have all three, and uh, we can use whatever we feel like using that day, that yeah, trip. So we have three different uh, ways we can go. And I would, I would think that in the summertime, we'll probably use the sheets more. In the spring and fall, we've got the RV super bag and we've got the beddies. Now, mm -hmm. um, we like all three of them. We will again put links in an accompanying blog post for this for you to look at. And with the beddies, they have so many different patterns and designs that you can order. 
it's fun to go to their website and just look and see what they have but you can get a sample of fabric so you can try it in your home or in your RV if you want to get somewhat adventuresome with uh, experimenting with different colors and things but just really cute super cute and I know with the RV super bag uh, they will work with you on custom sizes if you have some different sizes so you can contact them and we know the folks at Aurora that make the products uh, geared for the beds that are in leisure travel van RVs. Uh, they also have many different solutions, different lengths and different pockets and different options you can get. So um, pick which one you think looks the best. Go to their website, look at the accompanying blog post and uh, sleep well, our friends. Everybody sleep is well. trying to give you just what you need for your situation. Make it custom for what you need. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel. We have new videos every week. If you click the little bell icon, you'll be notified when we have new videos online. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy trails!